So, on paper, the S26 Ultra's camera setup looks almost exactly like the S25 Ultra. But there are actually 13 major changes hiding in this camera system that hardly anyone's talking about. And stick around, because there's a hidden improvement at the end that could completely change how you shoot. Let's break it down camera by camera. Starting with the front-facing camera, Samsung's been sticking with a 12-megapixel sensor for four years straight. This year, the S26 Ultra makes a subtle but important change. The front camera hole is bigger than ever, and there's a good reason for it. Samsung increased the field of view from 80 to 85 degrees. In simple terms, that wide-angle lens is now slightly wider, so you can fit more people or scenery into your selfies without anyone getting cut off. Yes, it isn't as wide as the Pixel 10 Pro XLs and not as revolutionary as the iPhone 17 Pro Max's 18-megapixel center stage camera. But compared to the S25 Ultra, yeah, that's a noticeable improvement. Now, flipping to the back cameras. At first glance, everything looks the same as the S25 Ultra, except for the giant camera bar. That bar is hiding some serious improvements to the camera system. Let's start with the 200 megapixel HP, two main sensor. Samsung's been using this since the S23 Ultra. It was impressive back then. But today, it struggles in low light and suffers from shutter lag. Samsung is fixing that by widening the aperture from f1.7 to f1.4. That's right, a bigger aperture that lets in 47% more light than the S25 Ultra, meaning the photos from the S26 Ultra's main camera will be sharper and less noisy in low light. That's already big, but there's more. There's a new 24 megapixel camera mode in the camera app. It sits between the 12 megapixel and 50 megapixel options, giving you more detail than 12 megapixel, but processes faster than the larger modes available. That's pretty smart and much needed. And Samsung didn't stop there. They're adding three new camera assistance app settings. An adaptive pixel mode combines bursts of low-res photos into one high-res photo with less noise, and it all happens in the background. There will also be a focus speed slider for faster autofocus on demand. And finally, an option to turn off HDR 10 Plus that saves processing time when you need it. Oh, and the main lens's focal length got a tiny tweak, from 23mm to 24mm. Small change you might not notice, but it's there. Moving on to the 5X telephoto lens, Samsung's been using the same lens since the S24 Ultra. Like the main sensor, it struggled in low light due to the smaller aperture and sensor size. But in the S26 Ultra, they widened the aperture from f3.4 to f2.9, letting in 38% more light. The focal length also jumps from 115mm to 120mm. That means slightly more zoom, better stabilization, and improved background blur. The long-range shots are just going to be sharper, cleaner, and way better. Now, here's where it gets tricky. The 3X telephoto lens, Samsung swapped the old Sony sensor for their own. Sounds good, right? Well, not exactly. To make room for the wider apertures on the main and 5X lenses, Samsung added the camera bump. But the S26 Ultra is 3mm slimmer compared to the S25 Ultra, which leaves less space for the 3X sensor that's sitting in the same location as before. Even though the new sensor offers a higher 12 megapixel resolution, Samsung only gives you 10 megapixel. And it's smaller than before, so don't expect better low-light shots. AI might help in the background, but it's a clear hardware downgrade. For video creators, there's a major new upgrade, an APV codec. Think of it like Apple's ProRes. It's a professional video format with log-style recording, giving you full control in post. Recording an APV will take up around 1.5 gigabytes or 750 megabytes per minute, depending on quality. Yeah, that's a lot, but the cool part, you can dump them straight to external storage via USB-C, perfect for anyone recording a ton of footage. Seriously, that's a game changer. Finally, let's talk about the hidden upgrade I promised at the start. The S26 series now uses 25% faster RAM. Now you might be wondering, why does that matter for the camera? Well, a lot. Faster RAM alone means 20 to 25% less shutter lag, a smoother lens switching, better AI processing for cleaner photos, and it helps prevent overheating during long shooting sessions. 
and trust me, it will impact overall camera performance in a huge way. Even with all those changes, I wouldn't call it the most powerful camera system in 2026. But don't get me wrong, it's not exactly what it looks like on paper. And before the S26 Ultra even lands, Samsung's dropping their first triple folding smartphone this December. Click right here to check out all the crazy things it can do. This is Tech Ticks, and I'll see you there.